Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Yeah, you yeah. What's your, I know you already been asked this one. I just got here. What's your immediate reaction to the draw? I mean, it could have been that. You know, I had Adrian win the 10 rounds, man. Oh, I'm not real too. Not real too. You just say that or? Spence, you want to sign it? The cars are horrible, man. I agree with him. I'm not signing it, bro. They showed your face in the middle of the fight on the Jumbotron era. I didn't see that. They did. Oh, it was after Bone had a real good round and you were kind of smiling. Yeah, Spence, you're trying to go oh, over yeah. to 154 now. Huh? You're trying to go over to 154 now to fight Charla? Why? Fight like Charla? Yeah. You're being I'm crazy, man. How fast was, how fast was Keith Charla and me? Why don't fight Charla? <laughs> I know Charla. Charla was talking right, shit. Let's go. Are you talking shit about me? Yeah. When? He said he got hands on anybody at 154. Oh, I mean, not at 154, though. <laughs> Man, Why you man, I there? couldn't catch him. <laughs> man, I was going about 80 miles per hour, man. You was in the wind, you couldn't catch him? Yeah, couldn't catch him. Oh, what's up, sure, man? Sure. What's up, man? <laughs> My dude, what's, what's up? up man? What's up, man? Oh, God. Oh, God. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? Time, yeah. He did an interview with Sky Sports. Hey, man. Yeah. And he said he will take some work with you. He's 100% with Southpaw. Yeah. He just won in 40 seconds. And you're probably out and about. So I don't know if you got a chance to nah, get it. He got a 40 second over a guy you already knocked yeah. out. Yeah. Phil yeah. Greco. Yeah. What is your response to Amir Khan challenging you and saying he's 100% with Southpaw? He said he picked it up. He would have. Why is everyone challenging you? Smoke, man. I don't care, man. It's free smoke, but I mean, it is. Man, it's, I don't know. It's free smoke, though, man. Huh? Call you got Al, no? You call Al. We can do it, man. A lot of dudes be talking about it on camera and things like that, but they never, they never. When they talk to Al, it's a different story. They want to fight somebody else and do something else. So I mean, anybody can say something on camera. I gotta ask you. What's in that Texas water? We see your man Jamal Charlo, Jamel Charlo. You, all you guys is knocking. All you Texas boys knocking. That's swamp water, man. Swamp water. The gators and all type of different things be in there, man. How you, how you rate the eliminator with? Uh, uh, Jamal Charlo and Hugo Centeno Jr. Second round uh, knockout. Brutal. Man, that was, that was, he took him to the slaughterhouse, man. I mean, that wasn't even a fight, man. Jamal did what he said he was going to do, man. He looked good. He looked sharp. And he put him out. Now, I follow you on social media. You're always in tune with the fight. When you're not fighting or when you're not supporting your friends, you're watching the fight. What do you think about he called out Triple G? Jamal and Triple G. I don't think Triple G wants that smoke, man. I mean, Jamal, he's a big... He's He's a big, he's big at 160 at middleweight. He's tall, he can punch. You know, he's agile, athletic. I mean, I don't, I don't think a lot of them want to fight Jamal. I don't see him fighting Jamal. We know he will tie before he fight Jamal. We know you work with Mel, but you ever work with Mel? If you do, you gonna get smoked. We know you work with Mel, but you ever work with Mel before too? Nah, we got different, we got different uh, trainers. He trained Houston. I'm not. He don't want to come up to Dallas to see it, just to get a little work. Nah, I'm not, I'm not going over there. He's not coming over here. I mean, Houston, Dallas thing, right? I'll never leave my gym for him. Yeah. Cowboys gonna have a better record. Texas this year? Man, don't start that, man. Who knew you won the fight? Man, I had, I had Adrian winning 10 rounds, man. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, I mean. I see Adrian. I thought Adrian edged it out, but a draw? I can see it as a draw. I can see it as a draw. I feel like Adrian wasn't. I feel like in the beginning of, the beginning of every round, Adrian wasn't letting his hands go. He was letting his hands go at the end, so. I mean, it was kind of hard for the judges to score. What is it about you that you seem to know what to do in all your fights? The biggest criticism I heard about AB is, like you said, some people don't let, he doesn't always let his hands go in certain spots. How do you always have the, the remedy or the formula in your fights? I mean, that's just how I train. I mean, I train to let my hands go. I train to throw punches, you know. I train to work off my jab and things like that, so. I mean, I don't know, everybody's different. And you learn the body shots, like that body shot video with you and your friend outside in the front yard trading shots? Why do you keep bringing this stuff up? I don't hear he's doing the video. Huh? Yeah. I you see Floyd last week, and I know you got a lot of respect, was a great champion. Yeah. But it's a part of you just wish Floyd would've hung around so you can get your shot at Floyd. Just a little bit. Man, everybody want that, everybody want that lotto ticket. I mean, yeah. lotto ticket. But just to see who's the best, though, you know what I mean? 
yeah, I mean, yeah. Is he the one a real challenge to your world title? Do you view either one as a legit contender to get in there with? I mean, what's that? I got a lot of heart, man. Vargas, you saw he got a lot of hearts to fight. You know, I don't know how to weight drain them, you know, coming down to 144, but he used to fight at 140, so I, don't, I probably don't see that as a problem. And, um, and Adrian, we probably won't fight each other. I mean, there's too many fishes in the sea, man. You know, you got Sean, you got Danny, you got Keith, you know, you got Terrence now. I mean, it's a lot of guys, so I don't see why me and Asian gotta fight each other. I saw yesterday on Instagram you were talking with Jamel, and you're saying, "Yeah, calm down on AB, man. We're, we're brothers. Why? Can you elaborate on that more? Why were you feeling that?" Oh um, man, I just feel like you know we shouldn't we shouldn't go against each other, man. We shouldn't go against the grain. You know, it's a lot of people already against us, and I feel like you know we should stick together. I mean, there's no reason for Jamel to be beefing with. Adrian, they ain't in the same weight class. They never fight each other. There's no reason for Tank and Jamel to be beef with each other for what? I mean, we young, we black, we got money. I mean, why are we coming here to fights and trying to fight each other? Things like that. I mean, I don't, I don't see the need to do that. For what? Yeah, it makes sense they're in the same division. Yeah, it makes, if they're in the same division, I'd be like, you know, it's it's rivalry, but you know, it's. It's a lot of he say, she say stuff going around and things like that. But me, I feel like we all brothers, man. We all making good money. We all take care of our families, man. And we never gonna, I mean, them guys never gonna fight each other. Tank never gonna fight Jamel and Jamal. Speaking of making good money, what's it like being on the Showtime side? They're putting together triple headers, you back in June, and all these good fights. Uh, I mean, it's good, man. Staying busy, man. Staying busy, staying active. You know, like you said, making great money. I man, I can't complain, man. Why is Bud Crawford saying he's gonna beat you in basketball? Huh? Why is Bud Crawford saying he's gonna beat you in basketball? I don't know. You come. I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you think of Jamal? Huh? What do you think of Jamal? Jamal looks strong, man. He had a lot of more bounce in his step. I mean, he looks strong. He looks sharp, man. I like how he look at 160. He wants Triple G. Would he beat Triple G? Yeah, yeah. I think he'd beat Triple G. Um, I feel like he's faster, stronger. He's younger. Taller, I mean, smarter. I mean, I feel like he just got all the tangibles to beat him. I like to see that fight too. I mean, like Danny and Jay, I mean, like Danny and uh, and Jamal. You know, they they go at it. You know, they beef him a little bit. That's understandable because they're in the same weight class. So, I like to see that fight. That'd be a good fight right here. Who's the tougher fight for Jamal, Triple G or Jacob? It's hard. Probably Triple G because Triple G can punch, man. Triple G can punch and he got a monster chin. So I would say, you know, probably Triple G. What's your want to take on the whole Canelo tainted meat situation? In the past, you said you like Canelo stylistic. How he scratched? It's kind of messed up because it messed up his legacy now. I mean, now you see Amir Khan coming out of. Um, even Angulo came out and said, <laughs> you know, you got all the dudes like, was he on that tainted yeah, meat? Yeah, yeah, Gulo said some too. He, they're like, oh, was he on that tainted meat, meat when, when I fought? So, Khan said that. I mean, it's hard. Like, yeah, Khan said it too. So, it's kind of hard, man. Huh? Yeah, I know he called me out, man. It's crazy, man. Yeah, man. You can't walk Earl over there. You can't walk Earl over there. Yeah, man. Khan, man, Khan, he called me out. He need to fight Kevin Brooks. Man, Crawford, Con, everybody calling you out. If it's there, if the fight's there, would you would you go to UK and fight? No, I wouldn't go to UK and fight, huh? That's crazy. Con need to stand in UK and fight here. Who would you take in that fight? Hey guys, you guys, guys, wrap it up, guys. Uh, yeah, wrap probably, up. At 54, I'd probably take hey, what's up, you you gotta get home safe. Right. One, two, three. One more. All right, one more. All right, Kale punch. All right, guys, that's it. Right. Right. Everybody get home safe. Go to the Thank you. I appreciate that. Have a good night. 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 Have a once again, thank you, folks. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Thanks for coming. Truth.